Hello, hello, welcome to a Dragon Saga third job Jane's guide. So this is a rogue I've just leveled up to 63. I'm going to show you each of these quests that you have to do. It's these purple ones once again, like at 40 and at 20. And basically I'm just going to stop at every every quest that needs any explaining, like this first one is not going to need any explaining, so we'll just accept it, like so. And the second one actually is going to need quite a bit of explaining, so I'm going to quickly go through the three options you have here. You only choose one of these. So here's the PvP way. 300 CP, 10 signs of hero, these you can buy from the market, essence of hero, 10. So the CP combat points will get from ranking mode with three other people. So, and those people have to be within one level of your level. In the ranking mode, just make the other team concede by logging out and you get your CP, you need to do this twice. Then there's the achievement points. There's Devil Soul Stones and achievement points. So Devil Soul Stones you get from hidden scrolls. You can see the recommended level in every scrolls description. And by pressing J and ranking you can see the achievement points right here. And these you get from completed medals. As you can see. And the third thing is the PvE way, which I'm going to, keep going to be doing. And this one is really easy if you have completed all of your previous hero quests, because in this one you will have to kill, I don't remember if it's exactly every single, but a lot of the pre-level 60 bosses once. And the reason this is actually pretty good is because they all also have expert modes. So you can just run through the expert modes while doing this quest once and get a decent chunk of XP while doing your job promotion quests. As you complete these quests, all you have to do to get the next one is just press here, new quest, and accept the purple one. Alright, so next up we have some just basic quests following the quest line here. I'll just show you every one of them. Nothing too fancy up until the dungeon that we have to do later on.
So in this first quest you have to kill these hill steel golems here in Vatika Hill. And I've basically established that this is the best area to kill them. What I'm just going to show you here is a neat little trick on how to do these monster killing quests. And basically you just change channels in order to respawn the monsters for you. So you only need about 3 or 4 of them in a particular spot to complete the quests really quickly. So in the next one you have to kill these flame gryphons and spark gryphons here in Wanshi Kosh. Oh my god I'm butchering those names but anyhow. And the best spot seems to be right here in the uh, left hand corner. So the next one is in uh, Heaven of Peace. And as you can see is right here through Rangers forest or snowy graveyard and you probably don't have it unlocked yet so you're just gonna have to run there here you have to kill these rover unicorns and do watch out because they can actually freeze you and uh, uh, if you don't have any gear they do do some good amount of damage so you can actually quite easily die here and the best spot to kill these things seems to be right around here where I'm going through right now. Right around here. Next you meet this vampire hunter here. And uh, this is where the real job change starts as you have to run this one cliff fortress from start to finish. Unfortunately I lost the footage of me doing the early stages here but I'll have the floors you have to clear on screen. You can either buy scrolls for these or get them from your friends or whatever to teleport straight to these floors or just run it yourself. You can solo the normal mode quite easily and then just get help for the last boss. I'm just going to show you the last two quests you have to do and me soloing the rare bone dragon. If you want to solo bone dragon keep in mind I had about 5k defense there and that's why I didn't die. So if you have around that amount of defense you should be fine to solo the normal or rare bone dragon and you can see my gear at the end of the video briefly anyway hope you enjoyed hope this helped see you next time